why have an architecture? Why have a security architecture? Well, uh, the infrastructure, which we went over in the previous clip, uh, is all the, all the elements, all the components of our systems, uh, what we're doing with regard to information technology. Uh, now, uh, as pointed out in the uh, uh, security management section, you can have all the tools that you want individually. Um, if you are not managing them properly, consistently, um, in support of each other and not working against each other, you don't have security. So the architecture um, is uh, a, a cohesive description of the, the infrastructure and the objectives for security. Um, it, it provides guidance uh, at least when done properly, it provides guidance for the decision makers. Uh, and that includes you, and it, it includes the higher-ups as well. Uh, the, uh, you know, we want to be, uh, well, we've got, you know, operational, tactical, and strategic, and we want to have a strategic opportunity to be able to uh, address, manage, uh, consistently use the various components of, of the infrastructure that we have uh, that we have built or, or that has been built for us that, that we manage um, everything appropriately to support the overall objectives of security. So uh, all of this has to be aligned, all of this has to be, uh, working together, working, uh, in complementary fashions, uh, to support security overall. Now, if, if we've just got a bunch of tools there, um, you know, yes, uh, we have some security, but we also have gaps. Uh, we, we may have wasted effort because we are committing resources to certain areas that may be overlapping, um, that may be doing the same things. And, and so we're, you know, putting extra effort into uh, situations sometimes where th that aren't even that much of a problem. That we're um, strengthening areas that don't need to be strengthened and neglecting areas that uh, we should be paying attention to. Uh, as frequently uh, stated, we have situations where um, we are uh, locking the front door and barring it and leaving the back door or the window wide open. Uh, or uh, very often uh, we get distracted by locking the, the windows uh, and barring them and, and uh, putting gratings on them and strengthening that and leaving the door wide open. Uh, so, uh, you know, we need to have uh, the architecture to to point out to us what we uh, need to take care of, what we must take care of, um, where we need to commit our resources, uh, how we need to manage all of this uh, very complex task of securing the enterprise and the, the architecture, using the foundation of uh, the policies, the um, our 
our guidelines, our uh, our standards, uh, our procedures, um, and and supporting uh, all of that, um, and ensuring that it's it's all running consistently. That's what security architecture does for us. Um, we have to think of, of what we're doing, what we need, uh, how best to, to drive that. Uh, so, we are, you know, looking at the foundational principles, um, and in, in particular, in regard to the security architecture, it, it clarifies and, and illustrates for us very often the uh, concept of compartmentalization that we've talked about before. What are the security zones that need extra protections? Um, where are the, the assets that need uh, additional uh, supports, tools, resources to ensure uh, that they are best protected? Um, all of this is, is part of security architecture and, and uh, very often uh, security, ar security architecture is the last thing considered as, as pointed out and you will be faced with a situation where uh, you are to create a security architecture on top of, supposedly, uh, already existing tools and uh, commitment of technologies. and. Again, you, know, you have to go back to that infrastructure, inventory, and make decisions based on the policy, based on the, the architecture, the high-level statement of architecture, uh, to ensure that, yes, we address this properly, we um, uh, put the resources where they are needed, we make sure that we understand what we're committing, why we're committing it, and that it is working in a cohesive, consistent manner across the enterprise.